Hey everyone, this is Andrew Hess, and today I wanted to create a virtual agent. And the reason I want to create a virtual agent in Teams is because this is going to be off that free uh, licensing model. As long as we keep the virtual agent inside our team, then we don't have to pay those premium license model prices. So in my last video, I created an app, um, you know, for request a resource, a brainstorm, or just to view all the requests. So I wanna show how you can recreate a Power App using a virtual agent. I think we're gonna create a couple, couple more columns in here so we can get the virtual agent to really work. And then we're gonna put that virtual agent in Teams. So this is, a virtual agent is actually like a bot like Amazon. So if you ever had to deal with Amazon customer service, you, you kinda of go through the bot first. Um, you know, the bot kinda of asks you questions you know, how it can help you before it actually sends you to a real person. So we're gonna recreate that in Microsoft Teams. All right, so the first thing I did was I went over to more apps and I added virtual agents to my to the left side navigation. So we go to, um, let's see, maybe popular on Teams, I think that may show up and we can find power virtual agents. So power virtual agents, there's other ways to find it but I'm gonna open up Power Virtual Agents. And you notice it shows up on the my left side navigation. Home. We can start now or we can click on chat bots and we can see I don't have any. So I'm gonna start with my team, the sandbox, and I'm gonna create a new chat box. And what we wanna do is recreate that Power App and we're gonna do request a resource. So request resource, that's the name of our bot and it's going to speak in English. And we're gonna click create. Now there's a few things I want to show you that I that I learned. I want to learn how to use, show you how to use entities with synonyms and then how to like branch off your your virtual agent. So um, with topics, you can see it comes with a few topics out of the box. And entities analytics, and I'm just gonna wait a little bit. I think we're still waiting for it to catch up. So I just waited a few seconds and now it appears and I can create entities. So you can see a lot of the out of the box entities come with our chat box. We're gonna create a new one and we're gonna do a closed list. And this one is going to be um, role and the number of list items we're going to have developer, tester, and manager and you can see as we've filled this out it, it does we're gonna keep the smart matchmaking on so this enables the bot to understand natural language it kind of helps with misspellings and, and you know it's just the AI and we're gonna add synonyms so for developer we'll do senior developer uh, let's add maker in there maybe we'll add power apps no we won't add power apps we'll, we'll put an app maker so we're just kind of like mapping things with the developer role uh, maybe coder how about we'll write coder so we have um, some synonyms for our developer entity and so we're gonna and don't confuse this with dataverse entity okay so for tester we'll put in um, UAT for user acceptance testing. Um, we'll put in test. Maybe we don't even need test. I'm not sure how the, the AI would work. It might be able to pick that up. Um, but we have UAT test tester um, and we'll leave that there. For synonyms for manager, we'll put in project manager. Um, we'll put in, I don't know, CE. CIO, CEO, we'll put in head for head, uh, head manager. Um, and I know there's another word. Uh, let's see. How about supervisor? So those are our synonyms for manager. So we have three um, items here and this is going to be under role and we're going to leave on smart matchmaking and we're going to hit save. So there's actually a save button here in the bottom right. I know my head's in the way, but 
I'm just gonna hit save. So we're gonna save this in here for roll. And we'll do close. Um, let's create another one. So we're gonna look for a person um, and we're gonna look for a place. How about that? So closed list, um, branch location. And so we'll have some items in here. We'll just say this is um, park place. So I'm just thinking of some branch names, park place, um, um, Circle Avenue, and we'll say uh, boardwalk. And so the synonyms, we can say, you know, park place, that is in New York. Or maybe uh, someone could write in Buffalo. Maybe I spelled Buffalo right. There we go. Buffalo. Maybe we could say um, skyscraper. Just thinking of something. So we can say any of those things and it'll think park place. So Circle Avenue, this will be California. Um we'll say um, ocean, beach. And so yeah, those synonyms will bring up Circle Avenue. And then let's do another one. So Boardwalk, boardwalk I think of New Jersey. Um, we'll say deck, uh, shore. So those are our synonyms for boardwalk. So we can write in the state or the um, the name of the place. So we'll say Park Place Street, and that's Abno Boardwalk um, Lane. All right, and so I'm gonna save that too. And so for just this video, I'm gonna keep it at two for now, just to kind of show how this works. All right, so we're gonna go to our topics, and of course, some of them come out of the box, but we're gonna create a new one, a brand new topic. So I selected new topic up there at the top. And so for message, um, this is just the bot saying, hello, hi, I am the request a resource bot. And we probably should put a comma in there. All right, so now we have the first message, and we're gonna ask a question. And that's gonna be what type of resource would you like to request? All right, and so the identity, we're gonna choose the ones that we created. So for the first one, we're gonna choose the role. And we'll, we'll rename the variable here. I always do var role. So we'll just do it like that, okay? Now in the blue text here, we can just say select options for users. So we can select all three of them. So developer, tester, and manager. And then we will do a condition. And so for each of these, when the variable, their role is equal to developer, we'll do something. And so we'll add more conditions in here. So add condition, and this will be when the ver role is equal to tester, and then we'll add another condition in here. And this will be when the var role is equal to manager. And so we have three options in there right now. Here, we're gonna say that only managers ask the location because we only care about a manager if it's location. For developers and testers, they work remote. They can work from anywhere. So from managers, we're gonna do another ask a question. Um, which manager would you like, right? And so for this one, the options, we're gonna choose the identity and we're gonna choose the branch location. And we're gonna have all three options here. All right, so that's just down the manager role. For this one, we're going to show a message we could create a power automate, right? Like in, in the middle here, we could actually, I'm, I'm probably not gonna do this for now, but we could call to action and create a flow and have it email 
someone or request someone from a team. Um, but for this one, we're just going to say, and we could even redirect it to another topic. So we could create another chatbot that goes through for the developer roles. But for this one, I'm just going to make it simple so we understand. Show a message. So show a message, you know. So in between here, you would have a Power Automate flow. We will have a developer contact you. And then we're going to end. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So show a message. We will have a tester contact you. Or, you know, maybe a better message, you know. We will assign a tester for your app. And so, but now for variable role, we're asking again about the place. So we're gonna do a condition here. And for each of the conditions, it's getting kind of small. Let me uh, make sure you can see. There's gonna be three conditions, right? Well, we could leave it all other conditions, right? So the first one, well, we forgot to rename our variable. We're gonna rename our variable to var branch location. Okay, and so in var branch location, when it's equal to part place, var branch location, when it's equal to circle avenue, and then for all other, we're just going to say that is, um, what was our, our last option? That is the boardwalk. So for park place, we're going to show a message, a manager from New York will contact you. We're going to do the same thing here. So show a message, a manager from California, California will contact you. And then finally, we'll show a message, a manager from New Jersey will contact you. All right, so this one has a branch and it branches off depending on the manager. So now that we've created all that, there's one main thing that I forgot to create and that is the trigger phrases. So we're gonna edit our trigger phrases, add phrases. So request resource, resource, I, I'm, I'm, maybe it'll automatically pick that up. Um, manager, how about manager? Uh, developer request developer request um, tester so all of those will trigger our bot flow so let's go ahead and save and, te and test it out so I'm saving all right so I, I zoomed in I just want to test out the bot so we're gonna say request oh it's, it's still saving. We're gonna say request resource. And it's gonna hey, say, hey, I'm the request a resource bot. What type of resource would you like to request? So we're gonna do a developer. And so now that we have gone down that path, we would have that power automate, either write to SharePoint or send an email, you know, to request a developer. And then, so I'm just gonna do it again. Um, so I'm gonna refresh. And this time I'm going to say request manager. Let's see what happens. So which manager would you like? You notice that it kind of skipped along down the line. It actually skipped the whole role um, part here. And it said, which manager would you like? So that's, that's really neat how the bot knew to do that. And we'll just say park place. And it'll say, you know, a manager from New York will contact you. Let's refresh again. Uh, let's try request manager from New York. It's going to skip everything or it should. So let's try it out. Boom. I am a request a resource bot. A manager from New York will contact you. I mean, come on. Is that, that's really neat. Um, I, I forget what some of our other synonyms were. Let's say, um, 
request manager manager from shore hey it, it, it skips down and skips the whole flow so it's like hey I know what you want I know you want a manager I know you want one from the shore and the synonym says hey that's New Jersey let's try let's just try it again so request let's just say request beach let's see what happens if it skips the whole manager part oh I didn't understand but request manager from beach so there it goes it skips down it says hey I'm gonna send you a manager from California that will contact you so you'll notice how um, it kind of skips through the logic depending on how far you go down along and so now that we have created those topics topics let's make sure we publish up in the top left so we're gonna publish the chat bot and we're gonna say open the bot in teams so we're just going to publish the latest content. So now that we've published the bot, we can easily just share it with users. You know, you can share it with everyone um, and you can send an email invitation or you can share it with a security group. You know, if you had a security group, I think, well, you know, water project, water project is one for me that you could share this with the group and then they can add it to their apps on the left side navigation. So you would just share it. You can send an email or not. Um, one thing that it does say, and I, I'm not sure where it says it, but it says to make sure that that Power Automate, if you have Power Automates using your virtual agent, make sure that is also available to your other users. So um, once you do that, then you know you just publish your bot so other people can use it, um, which I, I have already done. You share it, and right here, you know, make the bot available to others. And right here, you can see, you know, edit the details. We can change the color. If you want your own custom icon, if you want your uh, logo there, you can do that also. Um, short description, save. You also have the option right here to allow users to add this bot to a team so they can add it to their own team. As long as the Power Automate works, right, you can still uh, have that Power Automate right to your SharePoint list or wherever you want. And, you know, you could push this bot out through all your teams or, or a limited number of teams or your entire organization. So as long as you stay in that Teams uh, platform, you are going to remain in that free license model. Um, we have down here in the bottom right availability options. Um, show to my teammates, uh, show to everyone in my organization. Um, you know, you can't push this out to everyone in your um, organization. And we can just click add to sandbox. So this is our team. Your, your bot will greet you in the general channel and sandbox. So we can add it right into the general channel. So let's let's check out that team now. If we go to my team, my general channel, um, in posts, so we can see the, the bot is now here. We can have a, a new uh, conversation. You didn't see that because my face was in the way, but it did um, say, hey, I'm the virtual agent. It did pop up with team. So if you wanted to have a conversation with the bot, you know, you can do a new conversation at the bottom and say at request resource. And you can say um, request a manager and start typing to the bot. And it's going to start responding back to you. And, you know, you can talk right directly to the, the bot and it's, it's now in Microsoft Teams. So I do think this is very powerful. As long as you stay in this Microsoft Teams um, area, uh, the bot can be without the premium licenses. So uh, I just want to say thank you everyone for watching. Um, I think my next video I'm going to go over I'm creating components. I'm going to find some buttons online and we're you know we're going to search different websites and we're going to recreate those buttons in Power Apps with uh, components and we're just going to drag and drop and I'm going to show you how to make variables with the components and everything. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's watching um, our growth with the Power Platform. Please like and subscribe if, if this is you know helpful to you. If you don't like and subscribe, it's okay. I, I don't mind. Just um, leave me a comment. Le uh, let me know that um, something you want to learn, and we can learn it together. So see you next week. Thank you.